Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Post the recent Quad summit, Japan has done a very big announcement. Japanese government has allowed the export of fighter jets, missiles to India and other countries. Since 1976, Japan has banned the export of arms except for few transfer of technologies to US and supplied its retired 36 f 104J slash DJ Starfighter aircraft to Taiwanese Air Force. The present lift of arm export ban is not only for India but for 12 other countries that include ASEAN countries like Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Western nations like US, UK, France, Germany, Italy, and Australia. The one thing common in all these countries is that most of them are either directly or indirectly in conflict with China. This will definitely boost the Japanese defense sector and boost the economy but at the same time better equip the small ASEAN countries who do not have latest and sophisticated weapons to counter the Chinese armed forces. We will try to analyze the importance of this policy change from the perspective of India and how this can help to strengthen Indian military. At present, India is self-sufficient in missiles. It has already stepped towards becoming an exporter of missiles with first exporter of BrahMos to Philippines. Be it tactical or strategic missiles, air, sea, subsea or land-launched missiles, India has all the technologies at its bay. In this segment, India will not need help from Japan. India has exceedingly done well in fighter jets development with initial order of 40 Tejas Mark I complete and the production activity has started for this MK-1A. In parallel, three more indigenous fighter jet program that includes Tejas MK-2, MK and TED-BF are already moving ahead towards prototype development with much of their technologies to be used being developed in parallel. Here as well, we won't need Japanese help. The area that India want to collaborate with Japan will be the development of its submarines for the Project 75I. Under this program, Indian Navy envisioned to develop six diesel attack submarines with AIP system. Citing the technical challenges of the project, Russia and Germany has already withdrawn from the project. At the same time, France, who has assisted India with Calvary class submarine design based on its Scorpion class submarine, has also officially withdrawn from the Project 75I. This leaves only Spain and South Korea as a part of active participant for the tender and none of them have a proven full cell based EIP submarine. This is where India would need assistance from Japan. The Japanese Navy, known as Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force or JMSDF, is second largest navy after China with 22 submarines in service in Asia. The most latest and lethal submarine in Japanese inventory is Taigai class submarine. The first submarine of this class was commissioned recently on 9th of March this year. The submarine is successor of Soryu class submarine which forms the backbone of Japanese Navy with total 12 boats of this class in service. Soryu is world's first submarine to be powered by lithium-ion batteries. The combat capability of this class is similar to that of many nuclear submarines. In today's video, we will discuss in detail about Taigai class submarine, its unique feature, design and how it can help India in its project 75i. The Taigai class submarine, also known as Big Whale, lives up to its name, having a displacement of 3000 ton and the submarine has a length of 84 meter, beam of 9.1 meter and draught of 10.4 meter. The cost of one submarine is approximately 639 million dollars in the world of submarine technology aip is the buzzword aip or air independent propulsion is known to increase the endurance of submarine when they are pretty much idle or diving at slow speed with its small tickle charge however it is not effective when submarine is diving at higher speed because the rate of battery drain is much faster than what aip can charge it. 
This is where lithium ion battery massively improves the endurance of submarine. The Taigai class submarine has both AIP and lithium ion batteries that takes the submarine's endurance much much ahead of other submarines in the world. The use of lithium ion batteries in the submarine charges the complete battery in less than 1 hour and have almost double the electric charge storage capacity when compared with traditional lead acid batteries. The lithium ion battery has further improved the speed and performance of the submarine. The two main armament of Tiger class submarine is its Type 18 torpedo and Harpoon Block 2 anti-ship missile which can be launched from 6 533mm torpedo tubes. The Type 18 torpedo is Japan's latest model and successor of Type 89 torpedo. It can identify the decoy released by enemy and can adapt to various coastal areas with complex sound environments and shallow water with poor terrain conditions and other environments. The Harpoon Block 2 is the most advanced ship-borne anti-ship missile from United States. It has improved anti-electronic warfare capabilities. It carries warhead of about 140 kg and has a range of about 248 km. It can be launched against both ship and land targets. The Taiga class submarine are also the quietest submarine. Japan has done extensive research into reducing fluid noise or sound generated by water passing around the submarine's hull and the propulsion sound damping. The new hull design makes the submarine detection very difficult by significantly reducing the reflection intensity of active sonar. The new type of bow, conformal sonar array, the broadside sonar array and towed sonar array and an advanced combat system makes it capable of network-centric warfare. Taige has been designed with reduced electromagnetic and acoustic features and will be equipped with new combat management system CMS. Now, India and Japan have a very sound relation and both countries have collaborated under various economic activities. Both countries are member of Quad and share a common threat as China in their maritime interest. Both the nations have seen various combat training between their air force and navy. But the billion dollar question is that will Japan equip India with its most latest Taige class submarine? To answer this, we will go a little back in history. In 2015, when India was evaluating the Project 25i, the then late Defence Minister Manohar Parikar asked his counterpart General Nakatani during their March 3031 meeting in Tokyo to offer Soryu class submarine. But the Japanese side remained non-committal. But then the situation is much different than what it was before seven years. China has become more aggressive and India and Japan are countering PLA's Navy threat via Quad. It is the right time that the leaders of our nations show political will to bring this deal on the plate. There will be challenges as well because Japanese submarines are much larger than what Indian Navy is operating and I am talking about diesel attack submarine category. The Indian Navy will also have its own choice of weapons for integration and possibly want to go ahead with the DRDO's fuel cell based AIP rather than Japanese AIP which is based on Sterling engine. However, it's important to understand that Navy is way below its magic number of diesel attack submarines that it needs to operate and is in dire need of a proven lithium ion battery technology and AIP technology where only Japan can help. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.